Hello, everybody. Mm, the sun is shining today. I'm so grateful for that. First and foremost, it was kind of the impetus to making this video. Um, it is winter here. Uh, I'm on the East Coast, very chilly. Um, very reflective of hibernation. And so I've just been in this tug of war of wanting to rest in my little cocoon and I'm like still just like in my, my warm, safe space. But then also this inner fire that's like, I have so many things that I wanna do this year. And I think also the new year puts this added pressure when we see that it's a new year, 2024, which is so amazing. And there's so many imprints around the new year that I think it is a time that we can set intentions, but it's been such a teachable moment for me because I'm like, no, I can honor and respect the new year and, and plant, start planting seeds, but I don't need to like put my foot on the gas just yet. So I've been really just leaning into that and listening. And I'm like, you know what? Aries season, spring is when I feel like I'm gonna really start to bloom and allow myself to bloom. And so I've just been patient with myself, but I wanted to make this video because even this morning I woke up and I was like, hey, eh, mm, like I just wasn't, you know, feeling like my fairy, sprightly, bouncy self. Um, and this happens all the time. I don't always wake up and feel like, bing, you know, and sometimes I do and it's really exciting, but I wanted to come on here because I feel like we put so much pressure on, you know, morning rituals and evening rituals. And part of that and not, you know, emotionally bypassing how we feel is knowing that when we wake up and we're not our best self or feeling like the most energized, the worst thing we can do is shame that. And I have to remind myself sometimes because I do wake up sometimes with just that like overwhelming, existential dread, emotional crisis, shame. What am I doing? I'm not doing enough. Ah, all of that. And the thing is, it's perfectly human. We're here to feel the spectrum of emotions. Um, and something that I've been finding like through this winter, I've learned a lot about myself and allowing myself to just feel and to tap into whatever wants to be known is so empowering and makes me feel so autonomous in this journey. Like it's okay to feel sad. It's very sacred to feel rage, sacred rage, sadness, leaning into those emotions and uh, asking them to teach me something. And so something that I've been doing is like first when I wake up, acknowledging how I'm feeling. Okay, sadness is in the field. Anger is in my field, anxiety, whatever it is. And then once I do that, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna show up for myself with that emotion today. So that means if it's sadness, maybe I need to let myself cry in the morning. And my empaths out there, we know that when we're feeling sadness, it's not always our sadness. It could be, you know, as long as there's war on the planet, like we're gonna feel trauma. So grieving, I mean, our bodies are so intelligent that we have detoxifying systems to help us release. So crying would be one, gentle stretching on my mat, getting out of my head and getting into my body. Uh, drinking like my magical elixirs, like something like I love my, I'm a cacao girl. So drinking some cacao and I put some rose powder, anything I can do to support myself. Um, and I also feel like I might make a separate video about heartbreak or even entering relationships. Sometimes when we enter a relationship, like my motto is like, if I enter a relationship, I'm gonna show up for myself 10 times more because that eliminates any feeling of like that codependency or on that external getting from someone. So anyway, so just showing up for myself 10 times more if I'm feeling sadness, movement. My body is also like, now that I just know how I operate, how my systems operate, I'm realizing that I'm a lot more sensitive to music. And so right now my nervous system is really resonating with jazz and HZ frequencies and conscious music, um, classical music. And sometimes when I'm feeling like moving, I'm loving my like salsa music. I'm loving that. It just like activates me and elevates me and shifts me to like a whole other frequency. Um, getting sunlight in the face too. And if you don't have access to that, then red light therapy, any sort. I have like a little red light gun that I like and I'll just shine on my face. Great for your skin too. Um, you know, these things really have supported me. Um, and also through the winter, I've been getting into like martial arts. And so with my anger or like when I feel that rage, Oh, getting to move my body and punch and hoo, hoo, hoo. 
it feels so good. And so I feel so empowered when I do that because it's like, wow, I'm showing up for myself through all of these emotions. And it's not something that somebody can give me and therefore they can't take it away. And that's been making me feel really good. So if you're out there and you're feeling that sadness in the morning, honor that. Everything can be a ceremony. Anything can be sacred. Even if you're you are crying, you can light a candle and make it into a prayer ceremony if you're into that. Um, everything is the story that we give it. So let's make it a positive story and let's make it one that feels good for us. Um, I even have like my flowers here, just anything to support me. And I'm very present with my emotions. And when I'm present with my emotions, I feel like I'm unlocking another version of myself. Our shadows, our darkness, um, for my divine feminine, also the, the dark feminine, um, you know, there's so many different goddesses that also embody all of this influx of different emotions and frequencies. You have like your goddess Kali, you know, death and the death portal, death of the ego. And then you have your, you know, Aphrodite when we're adorning ourselves and into sensuality. Like there are different aspects of these goddesses, of these different figures for a reason. So that's a little bit about what I've been feeling and continue to feel in. And so let me know what your process processes are for tending to yourself, tending to your garden, your little heart, your inner child, your emotions, your all your different bodies, spiritual body, mental body. They are waiting for us to see them. And when we do, we're really giving ourselves permission to be the fullest expression of ourselves and what wants to come through. And I think we'll, that's when we get out of our own way so then more divine guidance can come through and we know what steps to take. Also, I'm on a cleanse right now and I feel so clear. Like, even though this morning I was like, huh, I also feel like my ability to sort of be emotionally resilient has been really helpful with this cleanse. So that's all I've got and sending you all so much love.